tattoo, an indelible mark, tattoo, a military signal to call the troops in at night. These definitions are both symbolic. First, in Christ's firm and indelible mark upon our lives. And secondly, as soldiers in Christ who hear his call to us to come home to him. Tattoo Records. Inspired by a mission to unleash smart, creative, and truly relevant music to the marketplace. Tattoo has made a commitment to find the brightest and the best artists and give their music a fighting chance on the razor-sharp world of our culture's cutting edge. Introducing Tattoo Artists Common Children. Common Children have been touring continuously throughout the South and Midwest and performing their version of modern alternative rock for over three years. Skywire. Common Children's debut release on Tattoo is a culmination of those years, developing their song crafting, live shows, and ministry vision. Skywire contains songs that address the joys and struggles of love, the anxiety of both personal and cultural abandonment, and the need for reconciliation and the nature of repentance. Skywire is a declaration of common children's willingness to consider the questions of their generation out loud in a voice deeply personal, even intimate in its yearning. With over a quarter million unit cells under their belt, the choir joins Tattoo Records. Tattoo is honored to announce the release of Free Flying Soul. 13 bravely human, spiritually inspiring songs composed and passionately performed by the choir. The Choir, voted by CCM Magazine's readers as number one favorite alternative band and listed as Editor's Choice Modern Rock Group by Campus Life Magazine. The Choir's multi-record deal signing with Tattoo marks a new beginning for the former Mer artist. New songs, new record, and a long road trip, March 1996. In support of their upcoming debut releases on Tattoo, the choir and label mate Common Children join forces for a 35 city tour in March and April of 96. All major Christian music festivals have been secured. Skywire, Free Flying Soul, Albums that had to be recorded, because common children in the choir are artists who ought to be heard. I think it says what we're about, um, that we're no different than, than the next guy. We're not trying to be any sort of star or, you know, try to hold up some image, but uh, we just try to be as real as possible. Black, white, rich, poor, you know, common children. We have things in common instead of looking at things that make us, uh, divide us and keep us separate, you know. And, Pushing somebody down, we need to try to find maybe more common interests and, and commonalities about ourselves, you know, and maybe bring us closer together. 
because we all really are common in our essence, you know. We all very much deal with the same things. So uh, that's kind of how we, we, we pitched around a couple of names, but we felt like Common Children definitely fit with what we wanted to do with the band. got booked at a 4th of July gig in Hot Springs <laughs> and they were under the impression that we were a children's singing group so sing along group, sing along sing along group. yeah sing along group common children so after the first set they were just all freaking out <laughs> so and we had to do fun. a second set and they cut us off 10 minutes into the <laughs> set because we weren't, a, and the Cub Scouts came on after us. <laughs> <laughs> and of course the volume, you know, went like this, down. Pull them down. Another time we played in a church, we had a guy, like, come up and grab the mic and started, okay. Our God is an awesome God. He started immediately singing, you know, making us sing okay. a song. That was when Hampton was, okay. and we were, like, getting intense then. We were just starting to get intense. And he just, he started saying his exact words afterwards. He goes, you know, guys, I'm sorry I had to do that, but, man, Y'all just had that kind of jamming thing where it was just going, yeah, 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 it went on and on, you know. <laughs> I just didn't understand, you know. Children is, is also more about reaching people that need hope and, and uh, need to be reached. You know, that's uh, I think that's who he's supposed to, you know, try to, you know, give hope to. Man, it's like you know, a lot of kids in the church already have hope. They, there's nothing you can tell them that's anything I haven't heard. But there's there's a lot of people out there that that are jaded toward the church that you can kind of, you know. Um, feed some perspective from a different um, different view, not from a view of, you know, somebody from a pulpit, you know, going down your throat with it, but more of somebody that's uh, uh, worked on their musicianship and at the same time they're, they're spiritual people. Yeah. A lot of kids, man, have just been left out, you know, and misunderstood. And, and, you know, some of our songs definitely deal with, uh, you know, that rejection and that feeling of being misunderstood because maybe you're more artistic or you're creative or whatever. And it just comes across just a bit different. And there seems to be kind of a fear of things that are different or, or done differently um, just because, you know, people aren't used to that, you know. I always wanted to sing, but I, you know, had a little problem, a dental problem that gave me a little lift. <laughs> so I, I tried to work through that, but still, the races really didn't help. <laughs> I think like making the first record was kind of scary because we've been doing the live thing for three and a half years. We've been in the studio a little bit up to that point, and then all of a sudden we were in there, you know, like five weeks straight. And it's like pre-production with Steve Intense at the house, and then album. Very much a learning experience, but it was always exciting because I love the creative vibe, the creative atmosphere. I love getting the different sounds, and you're doing something that you've been wanting to do for you know, almost all your life, and you're finally making the record. And I'll cue you, Hampton. Ready? It's just as much energy. Like, Common Children, once again, is about, you know, no divisions. Try to, try to break down divisions between audience and performer. And it's always cool to me 
to talk, to be able to talk to the people after the show, really talk to them, you know. That's what's one of the great things about playing in clubs, is that you always, you get up there, you do a good show, people respect you because your music is good. And then they come up and they talk to you and, and they want to find out certain things. And once you get a following, people really want to dig into your music and find out what it's about. So that's very much always been a cool thing, to be able to relate to the people. Crawling. Crawling on the ground. Ah! <laughs> Still crawling. Like I've always been, all my life, crawling on the ground. I think, you know, us as a band and, and as a writer, uh, that if I didn't have a record deal, if I didn't have the pressure to tour or anything else, I would still be doing this just simply because I, it's something that I can't stop doing, that we can't stop doing because we feel like, you know, it's, it's somewhat of a destiny thing, a destiny thing, something from God that, that God's put together and that every time we wanted to throw it down or whatever or had questions about it, something's always happened to give us, you know, a more hope to keep on going. But even regardless of that, you know, I can picture myself 55 years old and still writing songs. Skywire has, has a, a dichotomy, you know, the dichotomy of life, which is, you know, love, hate, uh, good, evil, carnal, spiritual, um, and, it, and it's about living life. It's just kind of a poetic, you know, statement, um, analogy uh, about how we have to die to ourselves to, uh, to love people truly love people we have to you know sometimes be quiet to be able to hear and there's a lot of things like that that are that are in the gospel and, and in our lives that uh, seem like they're two different completely different things but they're necessary if you're going to achieve um, you know any kind of spirituality or success true success I think. the way the, the song was birthed is just kind of like I was sitting in the backyard and uh, I was just trying to um, see the sky and uh, but it was all this junk I had to look through to see you know this beauty this beautiful sky and it got me to thinking about man and God and how man tries to make a heaven you know um, but it's just nothing compared to the beauty you know of, of just raw creation it's so crazy the kind of shelter when you hold me find about me is what you see is what you get. There's not a lot of layers. I mean, I'm a straight up person. I mean, you think sometimes that, you know, maybe I'm hiding something, but really I'm not. Um, I think with future goals, the band, of course, hopes to keep on making music. Because um, that's the most important thing to us. Uh, and hopefully we'll have more freedom to spend a lot more time on it. Um, because we all have to, you know, maintain our day jobs. And, and, uh, um, but that would be nice. I mean, we'll always be creating and everything, but to have more time to focus on your art and what you do is always just like the greatest thing that can happen. We decided to go with tattoos just because we felt like their vision, their ideas um, were way better than the rest. Um, and we felt a lot more comfortable with that. And being in that it's a new label and we're getting to go out with the choir and we're getting you know to be promoted as the first band on it is very cool. And we plan on hoping to make new mistakes. Tell